humor is the best <laughs> healing. Um, without humor, oh my goodness, I don't know if uh, I would have made it through to the other side some days. I was only 36 at the time, and nobody in my family was like has been diagnosed. My name is Melissa Green. I'm an environmental officer with the city of Barrie. My youngest, she um, was about eight months old and she was a tank so I couldn't feed her uh, the traditional way so uh, I decided to stop and switch to formula. Shortly thereafter, um, I thought it was uh, just a natural progression of weaning myself off and my daughter off of uh, breastfeeding, but um, I identified a lump. There was some uh, bloody discharge. It was in a doctor's office and being diagnosed. Due to the size of the lump with the mammogram, it had to be all of it removed. Originally, I was going with the silicone inserts, um, but then um, joking with my doctor, I, <laughs> you know, having an eight-month-old, I hadn't been to the gym, and <laughs> it was, hey, I have a bit of extra weight around the mid riff. Would would you would it be okay? With the reconstruction, a nurse had to check to make sure that blood vessels were, were fusing together because there was a, you know, a risk that it wouldn't take. Couldn't move or sit up. I had to wear like a, almost like a girdle to keep everything tight for four months or so. Um, I couldn't lie down. I had to sleep in like a recliner for two, three months. I struggled with figuring out how to heal, you know, myself to get back into the groove of things. Through the day-to-day, -day, it's it takes a lot out of you, and yeah, you're, we're a lot stronger than what we think. <laughs> my oncologist who did uh, my reconstruction surgery, I got the okay that it was healing fine. Um, the next step was to see um, if I wanted to go about the the tattooing. My co-worker was diagnosed with breast cancer as well. She mentioned Ingrid as well because she does come highly recommended in the services. I have no feeling in that area so it's really hard to think of it as um, a, a breast if you will. <laughs> so having the the tattoo helps with you know identifying it as that body part when you're looking in the mirror. I look at myself, check. <laughs> I feel normal. I've never really had a lot of self-confidence in myself um, but going through you know the hurdle that I have gone through I've now realized you know what like it or lump it like I am who I am and most days I definitely can look at myself in the mirror and like what has been done and I think that's also um, because of Ingrid's work I think I'm becoming more um, confident in myself as much as it um, sucked that I was diagnosed, it was a great thing that I had my kids just to keep me going. Because there were days where I was, you know, if I, wit if I could, I'd probably stay in bed all day. But, you know, they kept me going and you know, they definitely brought me out of the darkness, if you will. It really just made me realize how, you know, life is too short and, you know, we should live it to the fullest and be happy and, and just enjoy life, really.